Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green are my favorite Pokemon games of all time and my top two favorite video games in general. They are also my favorite games to shiny hunt. I love the Pokemon sprites, shiny animations and shiny summary screen. Generation 3 is quite unique when it comes to shiny hunting. It is the only generation since shiny hunting was introduced to not have any method hunts, i.e. an increased chance of finding a shiny such as Pokey Radar Chaining, Shiny Charm, 1 in 64 breeding in Gen 2, and so on. Gen 3 has a flat rate of 1 in 8192 when it comes to finding a shiny. This is the same base odds as Gen 2, 4, and 5. It was increased in Generation 6 onwards. 1 in 8192 is a probability. So you may find the shiny on your first try or your 100,000th try. Saving the game between encounters or stepping on certain tiles will not affect the odds. Let's move on to the different ways to encounter a shiny in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Fishing Encounters These encounters involve using the old, good or super rods to fish for wild Pokemon in the water. These encounters typically take longer than random encounters as reeling in a bite isn't guaranteed. I would only recommend this if you're going for a rare Pokemon that you couldn't get surfing, like Quillfish. Next up we have random encounters. This involves running around a patch of grass in a cave or while surfing. This is extremely easy to do, but will test the patience of even the most seasoned of shiny hunters. Doing random encounters is even quicker in the safari zone, but I wouldn't recommend hunting there if you're not prepared to lose a shiny. Without any kind of method to increase shiny odds, random encounters can be a grueling hunt. But persevere, as it's worth seeing that elusive Pokemon finally shine. And next we have soft resets. Soft resets are the most popular type of hunts in Fire and Leaf Green, and probably get the most views as most rare Pokemon can be found with these hunts. Soft resets or SRs involve saving before stationary Pokemon or re before receiving a gift Pokemon such as Lapras and once battled or bought or received, check if the Pokemon is shiny or not and reset the game, rinse and repeat. You can also do hard resets which is turning your, D your uh, Game Boy on and off without just soft resetting it. These hunts are typically the longest type of hunt to do, and can be taxing if you're not dedicated to the hunt. If you're a method hunter or are thinking of starting full odds hunts, I would recommend buying Abra in the game corner with a full coin case, as you can buy around 60 at a time, then work your way up to single soft reset targets like legendary Pokemon. There are no shiny locks in generation 3, so every Pokemon in Fire and Leaf Green can be hunted for and there's so many beautiful targets. Shiny hunting in these games are all full odds hunts and may take a long time to get your target but are very worth it in the end. Um, I may do a video on Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. Um, I didn't include those in this video because uh, there's, there's quite a few differences with the uh, RNG involved in those games and getting shinies in general so uh, with dry batteries and all that so uh, thanks for watching guys hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time